Ladies and gentlemen, when we look at 2024 and we wonder what kind of games are coming out this year, to be honest, all we can do is kind of speculate and guess. But I think we're about to get a lot of Zelda news coming in, and um, it might be a little bit overwhelming, and I'm going to break down the reason why I think that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. 2024 is arguably the last year for the Switch, and uh, what the hell's going on? We need some games. What about some new Zelda? I think that would work. So before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is actually funny and very coincidental. I've been looking for a game to play for the past two or three weeks. I've been buying games, trying them out, and not liking anything. So what I've been doing is I've been playing like a lot of older Zelda games. I've been playing through Oracle Seasons, and I got to a spot where I'm kind of stuck. And I was like, you know what, I'll come back to that. And then randomly last night, I decided to look through some of my digital Switch games. And then I think I was watching a Peanut Butter Gamers video about Tears of the Kingdom. And I was like, you know what? I might have been a little too harsh on Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, because it was looking kind of fun watching him play it. So then I started to replay it last night. And beat some of the shrines that I missed. And I was having tons and tons of fun. And I think it was a timing thing. Like when Tears of the Kingdom came out was when my channel first started to gain a little traction. So I didn't have as much time to dedicate to it. But now that I can kind of play leisurely... I think I enjoy Tears of the Kingdom a little bit more, so I would like to play some more Zelda. And I think this year, there's going to be quite a few Zelda things going on, and as of right now you might not think that, but we have to look at the evidence. So first look at all the Zelda amiibos that came out this year so far. We had this Zelda Guardian amiibo come out, we had the Wolf Link Twilight Princess amiibo come out, and the Sheik amiibo come out. And I know they can release amiibos at any time. But I think it's a little curious that they released these three specifically. A funny side note is I just got my first Amiibos ever. I've never ever collected them. And I found some on sale, so I bought a couple of them for like five bucks. Then I started buying some at GameStop, and I can see where it could become pretty addicting. Then we covered this the other day. The first LEGO Legend of Zelda set is coming this year. And what is that LEGO set supposed to be? It's supposed to be the Great Deku Tree, which is in two Zelda games, I think. Regardless, you could say again, yeah, Nintendo and Lego, they're going to make a bunch of money. Why would Nintendo not do this? Well, they should have did this a long time ago, but again, releasing it this year, does that really make sense? Like, of course this thing is going to sell, but normally when products like this come out, they kind of come out with something else, so maybe this would help promote a game or a Lego set for a movie or something like that. Um, but it's pretty cool because they're supposed to be the great Deku Tree set and then a bunch of minifigures as well. I think they might say it in here. Four Lego minifigures, Classic Link from Ocarina of Time, Young Link, Breath of the Wild Link, and Breath of the Wild Zelda. Hmm, very curious choices. So now let's look at this. There's supposedly a Breath of the Wild remaster being leaked for the Switch too. Last year at Gamescom, it was rumored that Nintendo showed off an upscaled version of Breath of the Wild for the Switch 2. Now that I think about it, that actually makes sense. Because when they showed off the Switch, one of the main games they showed off was Breath of the Wild. So if they showed off an upscaled version of Breath of the Wild for the Switch 2, we would be able to make direct comparisons of the two, like hold up the Switch version and then the Switch 2 version, and you would easily be able to see the differences. You'd be like, oh my god, the gameplay looks better, the frame rate's better, the graphics are insane, blah blah blah. So I think that's actually a very smart thing to do. But it gets even deeper than that. So a week or two ago, Papa Genos leaked this out, and I believe he was the first person to ever leak Metroid Dread out and a couple other things very reliable source. He talked about this Zelda design right here, but when you went to every capital letter, T-H-I-S, uh, A-H-I-N-T, I don't know. I'm sorry you had to go through me looking for all that, but it spells out this is a hint. And it's like, okay, this is a hint for a new Zelda game? That's sick, let's go. Then there's an update yesterday about him saying this. In the summary, he didn't tweet that out for no reason. He is confident. Can't speak in depth about it now, but it might be in his June Direct predictions video. The June Direct, that's next month. It's not related to the haircut concept art for Tears of the Kingdom. He just used that image as an opportunity to tweet out the hint. And it's not related to the rumor Breath of the Wild enhanced support for the Switch 2. So, a new Zelda game possibly being shown off in the June Direct? I'm getting very, very excited here. But guess what? There's even more information. And now I'm thinking about the Zelda movie as well. I completely forgot that Nintendo said there's going to be a Legend of Zelda live action movie being made. I think it's in the very early stages right now. But that's absolutely insane. We've seen what happened when the Mario movie came out. 
the Mario movie came out and a thousand Mario games came out. We got Super Mario Wonder, Mario and Donkey Kong, Princess Peach Showtime, Super Mario RPG, Paper Mario, and Luigi's Mansion. The Mario movie came out and we were flooded with Mario games. You don't think a bunch of Zelda games or Zelda related things are going to happen because of the Zelda movie? So then it's been long rumored we're getting the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker ports over to the Switch. And when you think about it, that also makes sense. It's came to pretty much every console since they've released. They were on the GameCube, they were on the Wii, and the Wii U. Why not do this for the Switch for the last year of the Switch's life? Everybody was saying it's going to be um, this dual pack that looks like this. That's not happening. Nintendo would never do that. This is easy $60 for both games. Um, and to be honest, they are worth $60. Like, I understand the remakes or ports. 50 bucks would be nice, 40 bucks would be nice. But the quality of the games, they're worth 60 bucks. This would be the best thing for Nintendo to do. It wouldn't take that much resources. Port them to the Switch, make a bunch of money. Why not? Everybody's happy. But then there's even more. Another reason why this kind of makes sense for this year is like we had the Twilight Princess Amiibo, we've had rumors about the games coming, there's also a legit Twilight Princess manga set being released in September. This news kind of went under the radar because it's not directly gaming news, like it's Zelda related, but I guess it didn't hit the rounds of the gaming world. Um, I'm a huge anime fan, so that's how I found out about this. And this is coming in September. September's supposed to be a very big month for Nintendo, from all the rumors and leaks that I've seen, so this would make perfect sense, especially if Twilight Princess was coming out, or Zelda games were coming out, Lego sets, Amiibos, we've got everything. Why not add some manga as well? I tried to look up who did this, Akira Himikawa or something. Apparently it's two different people, like two ladies who do this together, nobody knows their real names. It's Akira somebody, and then somebody, I don't know. We're not even going to get into the pronunciations of all this, but I tried to see all the other stuff they did, and apparently they did the Legend of Zelda manga series, and now the Twilight Princess series. It even says it was published under Nintendo license, so this is Nintendo directly allowing them to do that. When you look at the evidence, this year looks stacked for Zelda, so we're not going to have a million Zelda products come out without any Zelda games. And to be honest, I'm very excited. I'm going to play Tears of the Kingdom. Look, if I pick up my Switch right now, it's not even closed out. I don't know if it'll focus, but I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. And now that I have time to actually think about it, it really is a pretty good game. My main criticism was, is even though it was fun and groundbreaking, it really was like DLC for Breath of the Wild. But now that I've had a little bit more time to think about it and play it, um, it's growing on me. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about all this? Are you fans of Zelda? Are you ready for some new Zelda games? Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. We are growing on both platforms and it's very awesome to talk to you guys. And that you guys know me, I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.